Well, there is big news and fun for everyone this morning at the E3 video game convention right here in Los Angeles. CBS News science and technology correspondent Daniel Seberg and CNET senior editor and early show contributor Natalie Del Conte have been going. Here's what they found so far. Are you a gamer yourself? I'm a gamer. Really? Of course, of course I am. Do you have I a favorite game or could you throw one out? Uh, the original Pong. That was a long time ago. <laughs> to me, this is the next chapter of interactive gaming. It's the annual gathering of all things games, the Electronic Entertainment Expo, or E3, full of sights, sounds, and even some celebrities. What do, you, what do you make of the spectacle here? I mean, the, the... I snuck in the back door. But video games are front and center, even in this economy. Last year, the industry generated close to $12 billion. If there's one thing that's consistent when it comes to video games, it's that everything old is new again. Beyond the sequels, when it comes to guy gamers, there's plenty to choose from. Did I see a Ferrari there or a Lamborghini? There we go. Okay. Whether it's the harrowing turns of Forza Motorsport. This, this car isn't actually worth anything, is it? to the ultra-realistic fighting action of Modern Warfare 2. It is a hardcore action, you know, kind of guy's game, but, you know, it's also got an element to it where it's very accessible. But this conference isn't just about the boys. At this conference, we may be surrounded by men, but women are also a big part of the gaming world. I think a lot of times women are more um, attracted to more cooperative type play. Exploring and making friends is the goal of Free Realms. Jump, cat, jump. Young women can get started on that theme with Charm Girls Club. So the Charm Girls Club is all about friendship, fun, and collecting charms. We have four main characters, which we call the BFFs. So when you tease hair, you do this. Okay. So what we're trying to do is make big hair, and those of us who work in TV know how to do that. I think you'll understand. If there's something everyone can agree on, it's making music like with the upcoming Beatles rock band. We love the game, it's fantastic. Who, who, had, who would ever thought we'd end up as androids? Peace and love, thank you. Yeah. Enjoy the game. And Daniel and Natalie are here with me this morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. I'm all out of quarters. <laughs> so we decided to come in. <laughs> they take dollar bills now, I bet. <laughs> or credit um, cards. All right, what was the big announcement, well, what has been the big announcement so far? Well, as much as I liked virtual hair teasing, I'm going to say Microsoft's Project Natal really stole the show. It lets you use your entire body as a controller, so you don't need any extra equipment. You just wave your hands in front of the TV, and it does what you want it to do. Now, Daniel, you played Natal. Yeah, I did get a chance to try it out. So it's it's still very much in development, we should remind people. This is not coming out this year. It might be next year. But you can see from the video here, you basically are the controller. So it's this very immersive experience, and the whole idea is to get rid of the controller, in a sense. And that kid didn't have any wires attached to him, so how does no, that... No, it's a motion capture camera that's sort of seeing what you're doing, and it's a little hard to get your head around, but it does work, I can tell you. I think they've still got some kinks to work out, but it's... It's pretty impressive. It's also got face recognition and voice recognition. So you'll step in front of it and it'll say, hey, Julie, how's it going? So it'll know it's you versus your husband that's trying to control it. That's kind of cool. That's kind of spooky at yeah, the same time. Little, there's a little yeah. creepy factor to it. I think we agreed. But. And I'm afraid of the whatever signals it's sending to my body to like pick up to get the sensor. Like I'm afraid of the cell phone going like this. I mean, I can't imagine <laughs> like what this. Well, I think it's, it's radiation a free generally. Yeah, yeah. it's it's okay. advanced webcam yeah. stuff. So yeah. I mean, these cameras around us are probably about the same. All right, we well, survived. Yeah. I'll try and then let you guys know, but not for another year, right? At least 2010. All yeah. right, Daniel yeah. Seaberg, Natalie Conte, Del Conte. Thanks, guys.